Hey everyone, I'm going to finish out the cooldown game, and I'm going to change what I was going to do. Initially, I was going to give, like, a separate video for uh, the assessment of the chapter, and then go to the next chapter in the next video and start from there, but I think instead I'll just give the assessment at the end of um, this video, because this is really the last chapter of the story, so let's continue the save game. And I just played more Amnesia, and it trolled me. You'll see it later, but it fucking trolled me a couple of times. Ugh. And let's see... At this point, I have seen my first monster, so... And freaked out horribly, but that's just me. And yes, it starts out with a hidden object scene. Got everything. Me clicking all the things. just clean the boat up so we can chart the course. Okay. This boat is all the way up. Okay. Goes around here. Are there any boats? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Oh, it's the very long one, sorry. Couldn't really tell. Yeah, you have to use this to kind of figure out where everything is. But sometimes it's hard to tell, like, what boats you're supposed to be using. Mm. Mm. I guess that's the last one. Got it. Yeah, this is gonna be quick except for the, uh, the ending. And I can give an assessment. This is the place. Okay, get that boy ready to drop overboard. It would be kind of cool to find a buoy full of friggin' diamonds. where we can see them. You are under arrest for the illegal trafficking of stolen property. You did a good job, Billy. Your uncle would have been proud. Ta-da! Yeah! No hints used, no puzzles skipped, everything found, and... Yeah, completion time about 41 minutes because um, I think it only counts when you're actually doing something, not when you're like paused on the map screen or something. And it didn't really take me that long to get through the various puzzles, so. Can you still look at the notes? Nope. Did least catch? Solved. And. Yeah, I think the books get slightly bigger. Um, this one isn't my personal favorite, but again, it is the first mystery. I kind of like the twist that it, it deals with not just one crime, which is the murder. It deals with, like... Let's see, it deals with environmental crime. 
<laughs> it deals with smuggling, it deals with a 20-year-old jewel theft, and it deals with two murders, and it deals with blackmail. It's fucking insane. Like, it's such a simple, like, straightforward case in and of itself. You know, you get all the suspects very quickly, and you, you know, put two and two together, and you figure out how it was, you know, the guy he was working for. Um... But it's, like, so convoluted of what the hell the motive itself was. And I had to giggle at that, like, terribly. Um... But that's just my opinion of this, and this is gonna be a very short chapter. And... Again, I did... I do want to start the next book. I'm not going to count this as my cooldown chapter, because this is really just finishing up, so my next cooldown will probably be the start of Murder in the Maples, which is uh, the first story that doesn't take place in Cabot Cove. Like I said, three of the stories take place in Cabot Cove, one takes place in Vermont, and one takes place in England. This is going to be the one in, if you know how, if you can kind of assess. Yeah, if you can't figure out what this is going to be about, like, what the main plot point is going to be, then you're kind of silly. But, I will say Delia's Catch isn't my least favorite, either. Um, actually, I think Murder in the Maples is, um, and I'll get into why, but, again, I don't hate any of these cases. I really like it. Um, so, yeah, so until next time, I'll see you later, and, um, bye!